the box we are opening in today's video is one of the coolest boxes in terms of its looks anyway i think pogan has made in the past few years i'm so happy we can crack open on this channel hopefully the pulls will live up to it the eagle eyed among you may have noticed what this box is because i do love to show off in the background but in case you haven't noticed in today's video we are cracking open this pokemon evolving skies elite trainer box yo what's up guys aliens peer back from the video hope you're all doing well but as i had said it's exorbitant the time the fun of this video in today's video we are cracking open this pokemon evolving sky etb it was previously there up on the shelf next to my espion plushie right there but i had to open it i was just wanting to open it so bad it looks so so cool and i love the design to it so so much the one we're cracking open in today's video is the one featuring glaceon vaporeon silver and my favorite pokemon espion there's also another one out there featuring the other four evolutions being Umbreon, Flareon, Leafeon and Jolteon. Comment question day sending out early real quick. What do you prefer out of the two designs? Personally I prefer this one. One, the colours on this one are so so much brighter. You're comparing pink and blue to black and red. I just love the pink and blue so so much more. As well as that Espeon's on the cover. So of course I'm going to prefer with it being my favourite purple one. But I would love to know what is your favourite design out of the two. As well as that would you like to see the other one opened up on the channel or even do you want to see the purple one send exclusive Exclusive versions on the channel if enough of you guys want to see it I will do it but enough time wasting I want to see what is in this bad boy it's outside looks live up to it but the inside looks live up to that who knows without further ado let's get right into it baby so here is the box we're opening in today's video what a fantastic box on its outside looks anyway i'll show the background to it and that is all the content i love the way this box looks. it looks very metallic maybe i do think it'll shine differently based on how you angle the light as well as that like, these sleeves look gorgeous of course i have to rock sleeves with espion on because you guys know by now espion is my favorite pokemon as well as that in the background you guys can see my psa 10 charizard remax from darkness blaze my psa 10 what TV vintage espion from aquapolis and my psa 10 half our espion G gx from sun and moon base set if all the talks i've been saying of espion in this video doesn't give it away the background of this video should definitely do so one thing i think is cool about the etb and a lot of you guys may not know about this if you actually peel back the outer shell of it it makes a cool little poster featuring all the set arts for that set so we have the Sylveon, I'll have to angle it here, the Umbreon, the Duraludon and the Rayquaza. Had to put it sideways there simply due to the size of it. And here is a player's guide. This features one of every card in the set, all the regulars to the secret res, as well as that some combinations you could pull off in the trading card game itself. It sees there talking about how good of a pair Rayquaza is with Fluffy, as well as that how Galarian Articuno helps with Shadow Rider. And A, my boy Espeon makes on the back page with its friend right there, Sylveon. But you Cards we really care about right here at the back of the binder. The secret rare slash full art. Wow, this set is jam packed with gorgeous cards. So many fantastic cards, whether that be alt arts or not. This set does feature the most amount of alt arts we've seen in one set. I do believe this set has 17 in total, including all V's and V Maxes. That is honestly insane. I would love to pull either of these two Espeons, both the Full Art and the Alt Art. That would send me screaming, let me tell you. Yes, we have already pulled two Alt Arts on the channel, both from Evolving Skies. Incredible, I know. And before I do show you the... Um, inside content of the box as you can see i was correct with the shine of the box that metallic uh, shine to it is honestly beautiful this is one of the best etbs i think we've had in a while this is honestly so so sick and i hope pokemon keeps up the production value of this honestly fantastic so removing the cardboard insert you always want to look inside this because sometimes your packs can get stuck looking inside it ours hasn't thankfully and doesn't match the color scheme of this box i'm sure if you go out there and pick up the Umbreon. It won't be pink coloured. It will be that dark coloured as it is matching the theme. There was the trading card games rule booklet in every single ETB. As well, you get a stack of energies. So if you want to bulk up your collection, just slot the energies in. Wow, these sleeves are truly gorgeous, featuring the four evolutions, the main headlines of this. This cut these sleeves are honestly gorgeous, and I need to put some fantastic cards in it. As well as that, as we always do, get the ETBs, the dividers matching the theme. 
of the box and if you flip it around the design is actually different as you can see there the segments are slightly different and I believe all of them will be like yes they are and here is the code card for this box redeem this will give you all the sleeves grab it I hope one of you guys got it I'm sure you will and let me know what you're doing with those sleeves are you putting your deck in that sleeve I mean realistically how can you not the color scheme of these dice fantastic the espion color scheme on the big dice is great with the other ones having that blue color to match the vaporian and glacier on burning damage counters as we always do but the main focus of this video the eight packs we are receiving in this box honestly fantastic and I'm going to leave this Sylveon till last. Got a good feeling about it. So let's crack right into it. Honestly, Evolving Sky is such a good set. I'm loving it right now. You guys could probably tell that by about the sheer amount we've opened on the channel. I would love to know what has your opinion on Evolving Sky has been. How has your experience been? You know, you're getting those good pulls. I certainly hope so. Why not, whilst answering comment question day, let me know what your best pull from Evolving Skies has been. And if you, all, if you were very eager to comment question day, just go ahead and either leave another comment on hey maybe edit your comment i will not mind either way but i'm gonna go five energy one and kick this off with a bang and we get we get darkness fingers crossed we still can get something go to a boost shake shell gone lombre mareep the sheep drowsy <laughs> scraggy struggling to keep his pants up fee bass hit monchan reverse hollow rare floor just and a regular rare talon flame to kick it off talon flame what a strong guy in pokemon unite do you guys play Pokemon Unite or just Pokemon as a whole? Are you simply only into Pokemon for the cards itself? I'm sure there are a lot of people out there with the recent popularity Pokemon has not received over the past month slash year. Honestly, crazy. I'm sure there are plenty of you guys out there who are simply only in Pokemon for the card game. And that is fine. As long as you love Pokemon for what is, I will love you. Gonna go Metal Energy. But there's so many people out there guys who are only into Pokemon for one specific thing whether that be the cards whether it be for the video game the manga the tv show the movies and that is totally fine that is something so good about Pokemon it's in all these different industries and it just allows the love to be so much more accessible and I'm so happy they have done that because realistically the more thing Pokemon puts their name on essentially the more people can join this fantastic hobby and I'm really ha I'm happy Pokemon realised that because honestly this hobby is honestly great so much positivity being spread around there's such little neg negativity especially when compared to other IPs and Pokemon is so so huge guys it is honestly great and one thing I love about Pokemon is you've got all these Pokemon you know over 800 now we are nearing the 1000 mark kind of crazy to think about not gonna lie you will always find someone whose favorite Pokemon is a Pokemon gonna go lightning energy and it is water you know you you may not dislike a Pokemon for example Trubbish but I'm so, sure someone that's out there whose favorite Pokemon is Trubbish and that is so so cool we can all have our different opinions, whether that be on what's going to happen in the future, theories on the overall storyline of Pokemon, or maybe just own opinion on a Pokemon itself. You may love Rayquaza, you may not, that is totally fine. You may love Espeon like I do, or you may be sick to death about how much I'm mentioning Espeon in this video. And that's why I'm actually going to stop mentioning it from now on. That's going to be a challenge. Imagine that taking a shot every time I mention Espeon. You'd quickly realise how much I do love that boy. Going to go lightning energy, hoping for something shocking. And it is grass, fingers crossed, we still get the shock. And do I see a shine? I think I may do. So we get a Dream Door Ball, Dr Zinni's Resolve, Hippow Down, a Molga, Tender Cool, Tender Boo, uh, Boo Vagon. Love this spread, that love around Lilligan and a Full Art Rayquaza V. What a cool card indeed. Rayquaza being one of the headliner Pokemon, both in the collectible side and the playability side. And that is a fantastic port right there. Look at the shine on that Rayquaza. Honestly, it's some of the best cards in my opinion i love its alt art i do prefer the alt art v to the v max i know that is a odd opinion right there simply because the alt art v max to me is just very quasi in its dynamax form flying over some trees i honestly do not get the hype around that card at all but that is totally fine you know some people may appreciate artwork differently that is totally fine i prefer the alt art v to the v max and then there are people out there who prefer the alt art v max to the v and that is totally okay gonna go water energy 
And it is lightning. Will we get something shocking back to back? We will have to find out. Uh, Hip Hypno, what is he doing in this art? We're doing some weird squat right there. I'm going to try to skip past that as quickly as I can because I don't want to be on the topic of squatting Hypno for long, let me tell you. Kavana, na, na, na. Reverse hollow Avalok and a regular S Smeagol. One thing I think is cool about that Smeagol is how many cards that artwork carries across both in that set and the fusion strikes that I do believe. The, that uh, Smeagol artwork does carry over a couple cards and a few of those cards that we have not seen come to English yet. An example of that would be more while some expecting to see those cards, whether that be in the Celebrations main set or Fusion Strike, I simply don't know. Gonna go Dark Energy. And it is fighting, should have said that. I felt like that too as well. Ryan or Ryan, I wouldn't even know. We got a Vigoroff, Eevee looking at Rayquaza. Could we say we pulled two Rayquaza in one box? If I'm feeling clickbaity, that may be the title. I don't know as I'm making this video, but by the time you've clicked on it, you definitely do know, unless this video came up on autoplay. And a holographic Zorak. Is that actually Zorak or is it N? I would not know, but Zorak is also such a cool guy. One of my favourite Pokemon. It's shiny, it's pretty nice as well second last pack here the sylveon artwork we also did save a sylveon till last it fell down there common sylveon get back up cool. but can we get something good can we get two hits in this one etb one thing i've noticed etbs are very hit or miss you know i do see a lot of people get something super good out of their etb i saw Darium's pokemon i believe get two alt arts in one etb crazy honestly that was insane if some people get two hollows there's honestly such a range when it comes to the pivot of etbs gonna go water energy and he's fighting, he has that, has that guess doused our pulls. I don't know, I do think we'll get something fire, whether that be in this pack or the last pack, but I do not know. Pumpkaboo, we've got a Bagon and Versal, a Swoop Bat, and a Wow, a Trevenant V Max. What a cool card. Realistically, when it comes to playability, you players probably don't have a care in the world for this card. Sorry, Trevenant, but you are probably the least playable card in this set. No offense, that missing forest attack simply is not good enough. But as we were talking about getting another hit, we did, so we can't really complain. And here's the pack we left to last, the Sylveon. Will we get the good luck? Let's spin it around for some good luck. Please, 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 Sylveon. I love your alt art V and V Max. You're one of my favorite evolutions. You're on the cover of this box, man. Come on, come on, come on. If you want to prove yourself as the best evolution on the cover of this box, you have to give us the good right now. And I'm, of course, going to get a fire energy because I do want to end this video off with a bang. And we get we get darkness but please 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 still give us that fire pull lantern one of my favorite pokemon actually spirit mask gordy if you've opened eevee heroes he's a troll Moop the sheep we actually did open some eevee heroes packs a couple days ago now and we did manage to play a secret rare umbreon not going to say which one we pulled one of the fantastic ones to so check out that video if you haven't already and the final card for this opening will it be another secret rare umbreon is none of them a holographic elder Goss. one of the cards actually when it comes to smeagol's artwork carrying over the card actually fits that theme as you can see here the holographic pattern kind of does cover it but you can see right there that is the paintbrush trail smiggle is leaving behind you can also see it in the more wild card we have not yet received in english and a couple more cards but let's go over the pulls of this video so i have that holographic elder goss trevon and v max holographic zorak and the best card from this video i didn't even pick it up we got that full art ray quasar what a beauty so that is it for today's video. You guys just saw me up one of the two different designs for the Pokemon Evolving Skies ETB. There is the other design. If you guys do want to see that, please let me know in the comments down below. As well as that, please let me know for comment question day out of those two designs. What is your favourite? If you want to see the other design featuring Umbreon, Leafeon, Jolteon and Flavion, I will do it if enough of you guys want it. And do you want you guys want me to go onto the secondary market paying a high price for the Pokemon Center exclusive ones, just like the other designs? Design for the ETB. If enough of you guys want to see the Pokemon Center exclusive ones, I will do that for you guys. And make sure to answer comment question there as well as that. Why not let me know your favorite hit from this video? I feel like a lot of us answering that question will say the same thing. The full out Ray Quasar. What a gorgeous card. Super popular Pokemon. I do call it the Gen 3 Charizard over here on the channel. Super playable as well. It's V Max form Peng well with Flaffy as the guidebook did show you. 
And yeah, just a cool cart and cool Pokemon over round. And I'm so happy to get the full art in this video. But it's all for me, Integer. Make sure to comment, question, as well, subscribe, and leave a like. That is the best way to help out the channel. And it is free, so it really does help out, especially if you did enjoy the video and my other content. I'm Nelly Nis P. You guys have been the best. I mean, the best here on YouTube. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.